Uh, hello and welcome to some boy online. I am so sorry that there hasn't been any content in in so long. It's been about a month. I'm not quitting the channel or anything dramatic like that. It's it's really honestly just that I'm in the final year of university. But in a in a couple of months time, I will be fully dedicated to the channel. But if anything would bring me back to YouTube in such a chaotic time to to make me find the time is the announcement that there's going to be a new Wallace and Gromit film. I just opened Twitter and you, you see Gromit trending, just Gromit, not Wallace. And it says at the top that Netflix is going to be doing a Chicken Run sequel uh, with Ardman, the creators of Wallace and Gromit. So I thought, oh, that's obviously why Gromit is trending. But no, but no, 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 no. Uh, you go down, there's a post from... <laughs> Sorry, my voice is all over the place. There is a post from Discussing Film that just straight up says a new Wallace and Gromit movie is in the works at Netflix. The film will release in 2024. I don't care when it is. <laughs> I literally, it could be 2030. I, I do not care. What a year this has been for like dreams coming true. We've just had Spider-Man No Way Home. What an amazing film that was. Uh, Russell T Davies returning to Doctor Who. And now Wallace and Gromit returning. This is like the resurgence of the early 2000s. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Yesterday there was this whole thing that Ardman was doing a an open world Wallace and Gromit game. But that was in fact a, a misleading headline and it was Ardman uh, doing a, a a new IP as a as an open world video game. But then this? Like the day after? What? So I have I kid you not, I've just seen this. So I've hit record and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna just see what we've got. So there's that. Then there's from Netflix official. It's no yoke. Netflix is reteaming with Ardman for two exciting new films. A new Wallace and Gromit movie from Nick Park in 2024, and the long awaited Chicken Run sequel, Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget. So that's got an official title now. This looks like a new image of Nick Park with Wallace and Gromit as well. But, 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 backtracking just a bit. I really hope I'm not misreading this, but can I just clarify a certain bit? A new Wallace and Gromit movie. This does not say short film, which would be astonishing enough, but movie. As in, the only movie of Wallace and Gromit we've ever had is my favourite of the lot, being The Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005. This... <laughs> This is a full-on movie that is huge. That is absolutely huge. I'm gonna read some more posts, why not? Exciting news, Wallace and Gromit will return for a new film in 2024, directed by creator Nick Park and Merlin Crossingham. So it seems that obviously because, oh, that's really sad actually, uh, Bob Baker, who passed away recently, was obviously huge. He, he, I think he helped Nick Park write pretty much every, every Wallace and Gromit film. And I do wonder if he was supposed to, to help with this one. It's just surreal to say that though. Like, <laughs> we never thought, I mean, these guys are getting on now. We never thought <laughs> that this would happen. I was, no joke, there is a, I've got a note. Because I note down every idea that I get that could lead to a video or whatever. And there is a detailed note that says, will we ever get a new Wallace and Gromit film? Because it seems, it seems too late now. Like, if you look at the history of Wallace and Gromit, which I've done, it's all, you know, it, it happened in a similar time frame. It went on and then it ended. And it's been such a long time since uh, well, World of Invention in 2010 was the last thing, really, um, that wasn't an advertisement. The last short film was A Matter of Love and Death in 2008. And like I said, the last film, and only film, was Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005. And that was, you know, the absolute, the, the origin of the kind of love for Wallace and Gromit really came from, from that film when I was little. And then we've, we've got some tweets and the, 
Someone just put finally a new Wallace and Gromit with that shot of Thanos looking out at the horizon. And then the, all the official accounts. <laughs> Cracking news, Gromit. Netflix is also teaming up with Admin for a new Wallace and Gromit movie from their legendary creator, Nick Park. This is the kind of thing that's like, if a fan were to make it up, this is what it would be like. Like, in a bad scenario. For example, something like Doctor Who, currently where you've got a different showrunner and different actors and different everything and, and it doesn't kind of land right and nothing's the same. Whereas this is as original as you could possibly get with the people that are still with us. The, the blaring thing that a lot of people have said, obviously I did a whole video on it, Peter Salas, the original voice of Wallace, passed away, although he'd retired from acting anyway, um, in his old age, but since then they got Ben Whitehead to voice Wallace, and he's done a pretty good job. Once again, whole video on that, on the, you know, history of Wallace's voice, and there's been plenty of advertisements and stuff where he's portrayed the character, and compared to other, like, voice replacement kind of things, he's done a really good job. I think, um, the majority of the public can't tell the difference, and for people like me, yeah, you can tell, but it's, he definitely embodies the character, which is the most important thing. So, yeah, this would be the first proper big Wallace and Gromit project with him as well, although he's had a lot of, a lot of practice with the likes of, uh, there was the mobile game that came out, which is, you know, a lot of dialogue and the advertisements and, you know, just little bits and things like that. But he's been doing that since the Telltale Wallace and Gromit game. That's a lot of years of practice. And I think he definitely deserves a shot in a, in a full movie. We've got the Radio Times here, confirmed. A new Wallace and Gromit adventure is coming to BBC One. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. See, the fact that it says it's coming to BBC One, um, the recent Shaun the Sheep Christmas special did that. It was on Netflix, but also aired on BBC One. But... That makes you wonder, if it was a full movie like Curse of the Were-Rabbit, would they air that on BBC One? Hopefully it's around Christmas as well, because that's, you know, a tradition. People were saying this year, the TV catalogue at Christmas was full of Wallace and Gromit shorts, because they just air them all at Christmas, and people, it's kind of like a family tradition thing to watch Wallace and Gromit. I didn't get the chance this year. Uh, lots of people were saying too, that they kind of miss having a Wallace and Gromit film come out around this time. Uh, so I'll, re I'll read this Radio Times article. The BBC has announced the return of Wallace and Gromit with the cheese-loving duo set to star in a brand new adventure in 2024. It is really nice to have confirmation of that, by the way, because when I mentioned before I was going to make the whole video on it, there was an interview with Nick Park years ago where somebody asked if there was any more and he didn't rule it out and he kind of hinted towards it. So that's what I was going to dive into and explore. But it's taken us that bloody long that they've actually... <laughs> They've actually officially announced it. Uh, anyway, Ardman Animation's Wallace and Gromit will be back <laughs> in a currently untitled film. Wait, 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 wait. It's got a synopsis. In which Gromit begins to worry that Wallace has become over-dependent on his inventions after he invents a smart gnome. Play on words. Of a smartphone. I so take it. When the smart gnome takes on a personality of its own, the BBC has teased that it falls to Gromit to put aside his qualms and battle sinister forces, or Wallace may never be able to invent again. <laughs> this is really deep. The iconic pair of characters last starred in an original film back in 2008, A Matter of Loaf and Death, which featured the voices of Peter Salas and Sally Lindsay, and went on to win the BAFTA for Best Show Animation. Yeah, Wallace and Gromit always rakes in the awards. Uh, it's incredibly exciting to be taking British audiences on a cracking new adventure with Wallace and Gromit and to be continuing our long relationship with Ardman and Nick Park following the success of Shaun the Sheep this Christmas. That's brilliant to hear that Shaun the Sheep's been so successful. Obviously we had the, the Fennec Window thing where I visited that and it, it very much shows that these these characters call the place in people's hearts. They're still Everyone remembers Wallace and Gromit even though it was so long ago now, and people still know Shaun the Sheep, and they are performing well. People appreciate the animation style, and so yeah, what's not to lose? And voice is getting higher and higher. Yeah, and that's from BBC's chief content officer. Uh, Sean Clark, the managing director of Ardman, added, Wallace and Gromit are so loved by everyone at Ardman, they're like family to us, and we couldn't be more excited to be creating a brand new film for them to star in. 
I just want to finish off by saying that when I created Some Boy Online, the purpose of it was really to to celebrate particular franchises that really mean a lot to me. And in the case of Wallace and Gromit, I think the videos were popular with people because very little other people, if at all, would were, were doing it because there was no current uh, like releases from Wallace and Gromit, bar a few you know, obscure adverts and that. And that is basically why I wanted to do that, to highlight one of my favourite things in fiction that I just loved from being a kid and try to bring them out of obscurity as much as possible to preserve that and see, you know, if other people love them too, which very much seemed to be the case. But it was very much a historical kind of thing, documenting things that had happened and the history of Wallace and Gromit and this and that. And I'm going to be honest, I saw a very slim chance if it ever kind of resurfacing properly in, in this way, which, you know, animated by Aardman and with Ben Whitehead and Nick Park. This is the equivalent I spoke before if they, if they revived the Lion King franchise in the proper, you know, 2D animated form. You know, I spoke before about what, how could you do it wrong. There's examples like Doctor Who and the Lion King remake. This is the equivalent of them doing it right. And we've already got Doctor Who bringing Russell T Davies back. We've got Disney Plus, so who knows for the Lion King. On the channel, the only franchise that's really active at the minute in a good way is like Jurassic World with Dominion coming out later this year. And I haven't had the chance to even cover that a lot. But wow, I, I want to re-emphasize that it really does seem like people are people are starting to appreciate content from the early 2000s more, and it, it really is a resurgence. <laughs> if we get good Doctor Who and flipping Wallace and Gromit on BBC One, I can only imagine at Christmas time. You know that would be amazing. But the, the short films are like critically acclaimed by everyone. But the way they word it as movie. I would love it to be a decently long, you know, it doesn't outright say feature length, which makes me think it would be, it would be shorter, but we'll see as to confirmation on the, you know, the title and the runtime, and this is still just kind of surreal. Yeah, I'm going to rush off and try and put this together, because I'm just staring at the screen in disbelief. Uh, I mean, cup of tea's getting cold, so... Uh, yeah, if you are also mind blown that Wallace and Gromit is returning, please leave a like on the video and leave your comments down below because I, I, w I want to discuss this with people. And if you just stumbled across the channel, please subscribe. Uh, there'll be loads of stuff on the way. The content schedule shall resume to normal in the next few months. So by the time there's more news on this film, Some Boy Online will be officially up and running. But if you're still here, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.